what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Carmenita thanks so much for clicking on the video today um, as I stated in my previous video I'm gonna actually tour some mobile homes for you guys I'm gonna tour three of them I'm gonna tour a modular and I'm gonna tour a double wide and then I'm gonna tour a single wide um, kind of give something for everybody so to speak so if this is something that you are interested in stay tuned because it's kind of like a house hunting video because I know that there are a lot of people ready to buy homes the prices of apartments are skyrocketing and I'm pretty sure not everyone can afford a stick build home so I feel like the manufactured homes are a good option for your first-time home if you're a first-time home buyer um, even if you're not a first-time home buyer it's just you know a more reasonable reasonably priced option for you to um, consider so let's go tour some homes going to tour this is a modular I believe it's a four bedroom I'm not sure but I like this porch I actually wanted one of these options but I'm not there yet so let's go in this is a big big deck I love it absolutely love it so let's go in Okay, squeeze in the front. This is what it looks like when you come in. It is absolutely beautiful. I have my mask on, so I hope you guys can hear me. So this is the front door when you come in. I mean, this is a good amount of living space. There's coat closet right here. Here's the flooring. Of course, this linoleum, I believe, or laminate, I'm not sure. Got carpet. This is a good size living space. I absolutely love how big it is. All right, so we'll go this way. In the kitchen, the kitchens in these homes are absolutely beautiful, y'all. And I will leave um, a link in the description box if you guys want to check out the, uh, where I'm at Freedom Homes in Troutman, North Carolina. You got the stainless steel, got your little bar stools right here. I love the size of this island. I mean, modular homes are always the best. So, you know, if you can afford it, definitely get it. It's just, you know, it's just as nice as a stick built home in my opinion. I mean, come on. We're not going to pay attention too much to the decor because we're just looking at the space. This is the laundry area right here. Very, very spacious. At least I think it is. You got your racks here and then you have, that's where the HVAC system is. Back door, pretty good space, I would say. Go back through here. Summon. Sorry, you guys, the shoes. It's the first bedroom here. This is a good size bedroom. I love the windows, and honestly, in stick built homes, <laughs> you see one window, you know, just about the same size. So, I mean, I don't see the difference other than the materials that they use in manufactured homes and modular homes. This is, I guess, drywall sheet rock I'm not I'm not sure y'all I don't know the correct terms I'm sorry here is closet space it's a light pretty decent sized closet space y'all absolutely and it has a vent in the closet so again this is the modular this is for the big families let me step over here I mean, you have enough space. Now you can get wiring done if you want a ceiling fan. I don't think they come with ceiling fans, but you can get the wiring. Ugh. Somebody's coming in. Hi. The bathroom. 
And in here is another room. Another big closet. There are other customers in here, so I'm gonna try to hurry. Good size room. Alright, so this is the master. Nice big windows. Decent, decent size. I'll stand back over here. So that was the first home, you guys. That was the modular. So now let's go to the double wide. There's some people that came in, so I didn't want to um, get them on camera. So I'm gonna see if the home that I originally wanted is still here, and I can show that to you guys. Um, keep in mind that the names of the homes change wherever you go, but this one's called the Island Breeze, I believe. And I think it's still here. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the home that I originally wanted. This is gonna be the double wide. We just got through touring the modular home, so let's go to the double wide. All right, so here is the island breeze. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's really cute. I like it. It's 28 by 56, I believe. Don't give me the line. So let's go in. Okay. One of the reasons why I like this home is because of the humongous island, but here's the living space. I like that wall right here. A little accent wall. That was really, really nice. I like these um, big windows as well. That was one of the selling features for me. <laughs> so when you walk in, here's the kitchen. That island is really big. I love it, love it, love it. And this is the dining area here. This flooring is same thing, linoleum. I, did, I don't like the dark flooring. I like um, the other kind. There's another color you can choose. Here's your dining space though. So we'll walk over to the kitchen. Beautiful kitchen area. I hope you guys can see. Let me see. No lights in here. So I actually love how big this island is. 
love it and I like the white farmhouse sink which is what I'm getting as well and I love the pantry this little area right here for like the coffee <laughs> I like this this is really cool and then you slide it over and there's the tantrum so that was one of the reasons why I like this home because I do need a pantry I mean not really but it's nice to have so here are the cabinets I love the colors of the cabinets which my cabinets will be this color and even though it's not granite it's still pretty you guys it's still beautiful but my sink this is what my sink will look like. Absolutely love it. And this is a, you know, a pretty good kitchen, y'all. So yeah, I love everything about it. It's very spacious. Here's the other side of the island. All right, so let's go over. And I like this area because it had like a little hallway. It's cute. over here this is the laundry area here it's pretty spacious and that's where the HVAC stuff is and then you have the first bedroom winter actually wanted this bedroom <laughs> when we were picking this house so it has carpet I do not have carpet in any of my uh, in any parts of my house except for my bedroom Winter did not want carpet. So that's a good, decent size. I mean, for a small family, you know, it's pretty good. Here's the closet. I'll try to get that for you guys because there's no lights in here. So pretty decent size closet. So we'll go. And I also like the fact that it had this, a hall closet. <laughs> I needed this. <laughs> So I definitely needed this. Here's the bathroom. I liked it because it had the double sinks and it was separate. So I really, really like that feature. There it is. Okay. And then the toilets around here. You have this window. Went to it had this big window in her bathroom. And then here's the tub. So I guess it fell. The shower curtain. But you get the idea. And then looking this way. All right. And here's the other bedroom. Again, a decent size for a small family or a single mom. You know. Perfect. Here's the closet space. Again, in these stick fill homes, these closets look the same, y'all. I've watched so many home tours and all the closets look just about as big as this, if not smaller. So, and I like these walls. So let's go to the master. The master's right here. The only downside was how small the master bedroom was. And that's what I didn't like. But somebody else may be okay with this size. But I uh, I wanted a little bit bigger master. So this is the master, or actually the primary bedroom, shall I say. It's the primary bedroom. <laughs> Here's in the closet was very small in this one. My closet's bigger than this, but again, this may be okay for some people. Let me step back so you can see. Hope I'm not too loud because I know this microphone picking up everything. So that's the other side of the wall. We'll come over here and you can see about how big it is you know it's a good size it just wasn't big enough for me and here's the primary bathroom as you walk in 
Absolutely beautiful. I love the shower. The only thing it does not have is a tub, but you can put a tub in here if you want. You just won't have the, this, uh, I think you won't have this. You'll have the tub instead, so. Toilet area here. And then I like, again, the double sinks were separate in this little storage space here in the window. That's why I like this house. So this is what I originally picked y'all. But this isn't the one that I'm gonna go with because of everything that has to be done where I'm moving. Um, it would have cost a lot. So here's a little towel rack, a little accent wall over here. And it goes all the way around over here. And I like this little storage area as well. And there's me. Woo -woo. <laughs> I like this long mirror. Can we say selfie every day? But yes, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Sinks. I like the square sinks. I don't think my sinks are square. Again, this beautiful countertops here. So I like it, y'all. And we're gonna go back out in the shower. I wanted this kind of shower, but I didn't end up getting it. I think I got like a another kind, the kind where the the glass slides. So, which I'll be changing that out. All right, so we're going back out, pan around for you guys again. It's beautiful. I don't know how much this home is, but I know it's over a hundred thousand. All of the homes are over a hundred thousand except the single ones. So, so there you go. Oh. So now let's go to the single wide. Okay, you guys, here's a single wide. That's pretty long for a single wide, in my opinion. I don't know what the names of them are. Again, I'm just walking to them and showing you guys. So let's go in. This one's about 98,000. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry for the smoke alarm. But you know how it is. This is beautiful, you guys. This is cool for somebody who doesn't have any children. Just got you and a dog. You and the pets. Or you and maybe one child. You and maybe two kids. Small family. Just starting out. Beautiful. I love the island. I mean, if you want an affordable option, y'all, this is it. Like, <laughs> simple living. That's what I'm all about. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I love the countertops. Dishwasher. Cabinet space. Perfect. I didn't open it in the last one. But since it's a single home, single wide, I'll open some cabinets for y'all. There you go. This isn't soft clothes. Again, it's Freedom Homes in Troutland. This is the Cool Breeze three bedroom, two bath, 98, 12, 16 square feet. I love these windows. So beautiful. It's a kitchen sink. And that's the living area when you come in. So let's go to the other bedrooms. So here's a nice hallway. This is the thermostat, Ecobi, energy efficient. Now I'll probably play music because of the smoke alarm. But this is the first bedroom. Decent size, you guys. It's the closet space. 
space. It's pretty small, but again, this is for a single person or maybe a small baby and a mom and dad, you know, something like that. That's how big the room is. Give you an idea. here. This is the bathroom. Again, it's, it's enough space. This cute little mirror. Turn off the light. And then here is the second bedroom. This one's a little bigger, but the closet is a little smaller in this one, so. This bedroom is a great size. Great, great size. You have two windows in this bedroom, which I wish they would put two windows in all of them, but here's the closet, small. But again, it's for a single person or someone with just small kids. I think it's an excellent size home. All right, so let's go to the primary bedroom. Put your washer and dryer area. Forgot all about this area, y'all. So you come around here, and there would be your washer and dryer area. Nice window and the door. And we have this hallway from the primary bedroom that leads back here. Love this, put a nice picture here. And this is the primary bedroom. Decent size. Decent size. Here's the floor. You have a window. I hope I'm not going too fast. I apologize. I don't have a gimbal, so I'm trying to be very, very steady as I can. Here's the closet space. Where's the light? There you go. Decent sized closet. And this one for a single person. all the way over here. Goes all the way over there. And here's the bathroom. Here's the flooring. And there's the bathroom. The window here. This is the tub. Beautiful. It'd be nice if they had some bookshelves right here. That would have set it off. This is a nice, 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 nice tub. And we have the double sinks. Not a lot of space in the homes, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But again, it's for a single person. Turn the light on for y'all. See if I can get the effect. <laughs> and then over here, it's your toilet in your shower. I think that's pretty big. So yeah. And we'll go back out. Here's the size of the primary room. Primary bedroom. This one's again 98000 but of course prices do change weekly, so just because that's the price of it today, that doesn't mean that's the price next week. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that's it for the home tours. I hope this was helpful. I do apologize if it wasn't professional or if it was too fast. I'm not, you know, an expert at showing the homes, but I did just want to give my viewers, you know, an idea of what else is out there if you can't afford 
um, a stick built home if you cannot afford a big two-story home you know there are other options where you can start off small and then you know transition into something else bigger if you want but for me this is what I want this is what I need and yeah it's a great great option for me and my daughter so make sure you hit the subscribe button comment down below tell me what you think and I'll try to put um, a link down in the description box but again the prices of the homes do change <sighs> they change weekly so just keep that in mind that if the price is one amount today it's going to be totally different next week so but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching peace